Right, I'm on the dining room table tonight and I'm setting up a BX300F. That's an Epson BX300F. I'm going to put a CIS on it. Just to let you know, any white things like this you see are lighting. It's just so it brightens it up in here. My hands are black, but that's from doing ink cartridge. It's not from doing this CIS. So we're going to get the CIS on. I'll just show you a couple of things I've done to start with. I've put that hinge there. That hinge is up and down. I put this hinge here. It's just to hold the piping into place. So they've been put into place. I've taken the lid off. You can't do that by video because you can't get the camera right in there. But there are photograph instructions on how to do that. Which is supplied with the unit should you buy it. So we're going to put this CIS onto the uh, BX300F. Right, a bit more preparation. I'll just move that light out of the way. If you look here... We've got the bottles stood next to the printer, we've taken the small bungs out and we've put these little air filters in to stop the ink coming out if you accidentally knock it but it'll still allow air in which you must have, you must have air to replace the fluid that's being used. So that must be at the same level, you see that table there, the printer's on the table, they're on the table. Whatever you do, and some people have done it, is lift it up, don't do that, do not lift that up, it must be on that same level. So you've got your air filters in and we're all ready to put the CIS into the printer. So what I've done, I've switched the printer on, I've just pressed the on button and now it's going to go through its uh, normal procedure now, it's going to recognise that there's no cartridges in there. So we'll let it do that. Always takes a bit of time no matter what printer you're using. I'll just move that light a bit further around so you can see everything going on. Right, seeing it can't recognise now on the screen down here. Seeing it can't recognise the cartridge, of course it can't because it's not in. So we'll press um, OK. It'll move that across. Right, that's now into place for us to put the cartridges in, but we can't get them through that small gap there, can we? Because we've got to go under this bar. So just move it by hand. It won't hurt it. Just move it by hand across there. Get your cartridges under, like that. See how that's done? Pull that back into place, put your cartridges in, and click them. Now I know that I've just clicked all four in there, but just to make sure you've got them clicked in, go into each individual one, press at the front and the back to make sure they're all in. Everything's in there. So now move it back to the right hand side so that's as far as it'll go so we know we can get the pipe into the right length and we just clip it into there. I'm going to come up here, this is very important, you see this piping coming out here, it goes around and curls into here but there are no twists. If that piping is twisted it's going to fail every time. I've had quite a few people recently say they've got it exactly as my video shows but they haven't, they've got twists in it, they're sending them back to me, they've got twists in. And that's what's failing. Whatever you do, make sure there is no twist here. It must not be twisted. So you've got that through there, then come across here, to there, and clip it in. Now, your CIS is in, let's see what we do next. All we have to do is press OK on the printer. That'll start checking the cartridges now, and it will install them. There you can see it charging the ink. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but the air is going away, the ink's travelling up, all that air will disappear. It's just a matter of being patient for that. As it pulls the ink up, the air will disappear, but you might get one or two prints with a few lines in after about 10 or 15 pages. Just chuck them away and print them again. The air will soon disappear. It's charging them up okay now, recognising them fine. So 
it's always a slow process this but it doesn't matter what you're doing whether you're putting cartridges in or what it'll always take this time still charging and there I don't know if you'll be able to see this because it's a bit faint in here the light shining on it but it says complete it's recognized the cartridges that printer is now ready to print what I'm going to do to start with is uh, get it to print with the lid up just get a laptop and uh, enter I'm told it to print now that's with the lid up this is just move this back a bit so you can see it make sure that's down yet And there you go, look, it's printed perfectly okay. You can see that red, blue, yellow, and black. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid down. It won't go all the way down because you've got that little thing there protecting the piping here. It will stick up slightly, but if we put it all the way down, it will stop the ink coming through the piping. So that's what that one down here is for. Right, so we'll now print with it um, down. Let's click OK. So the printer should start up in a second. There we go. And that's with the lid down so you can see it all working fine. there you go again the four colours there you go so that's printed with the lid down so I'll just do one final thing before I end that's just finishing off now right your printer can't tell that you haven't put normal cartridges in it thinks you've put normal cartridges in so it will monitor them just the same so when it thinks say your black has run out you go through the normal procedure to bring your carriage to here and then instead of taking the black out and putting a new one in you get this button here it's at the back a white button sticking up and you press it and you hold it for five seconds after five seconds let go and then press OK again on your printer and that black cartridge will then again be full the ones say the yellow is only half full it will stay half it will only fill up the cartridge that was empty don't press the white button when you're on low ink only press it when it says a cartridge is empty and it will only refill the one that it says is empty if three of them come up as empty it will refill all three so that's about it um, any uh, worries about it or help needed just look for my phone number or go to the website thanks for watching